Hey guys, Andy Tran here from Inner Bark Outdoors. Today I wanted to do a review on a new pair of headphones that I got. A uh, headphone review is pretty unusual for a channel of this nature, but I was in the market for a new pair of headphones and a company called Mez contacted me just out of pure luck and they wanted to send me a pair to try out. So I read up a little bit about the company, uh, saw some other reviews and uh, the reviews were surprisingly good for a company that I never heard of before. Uh, skeptical as I was, I went ahead and said, yes, I would like to try it out. And these are my impressions. The packaging that came with the headphones is nothing to write home about. It's very plain and for the most part unappealing. But what's important is what's on the inside. The headphones come in a small molded case that has a zipper that goes almost all the way around. And it's apparent right off the bat that the headphones are very well made. What sets them apart from different headphones is that the housing is made out of wood instead of plastic or metal. Inside the case they have three different earpiece sizes. Small, medium, and large. With the mediums installed on the headphones to begin with. And a carabiner to clip the pouch onto the inside of your bag. On one of the cords to go to the earpiece is a microphone which also has a button which starts and stops your music. And the two wires are split with a very nice solid connector. And the jack itself brings the cable out at 45 degrees, which is a nice medium between the 90 degree and the straight out, which both have their advantages and disadvantages. The headphones themselves fit very nicely in the ear. I found that they were pretty comfortable to wear for several hours at a time while I was editing. And the passive noise cancelling properties of this headphone are pretty good, so I was able to edit this video pretty easily in a crowded Starbucks. When I'm editing my videos, I can hear very clearly all the high-pitched sounds of the birds, and in this case, a monkey. And I can hear a lot of insects in the background in this clip as well. You can almost hear a butterfly fart. and also the very low tones of the bee buzzing. Even after it lands. Now, I'm not sure if it's the fact that the housing is made out of wood and there's generally better acoustics when it comes to wood than plastic or metal, um, or some other factors like the type of drivers, but these headphones sound amazing. Um, I've used $300 studio headphones, uh, borrow my girlfriend's Beats by Dr. Dre all the time. Um, and these outperform those headphones. Um, these headphones rock. If you guys have any comments or questions, please message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And also check out my Facebook page and other social media. It really helps me know these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye. The difference between cool white and neutral white is that the cool white tends to lean more towards the blue side of the light spectrum, whereas a neutral white is more balanced for daylight, which is what the human eye sees best.